Next time you're having a conversation, if something comes up and you have a really strong opinion on it, like ask yourself how that opinion was formed. Is it just an opinion that was formed from society and culture? So for example, in the episode that I'm referring to was Dr. Sarah Berry. And throughout this episode of Diaries of a CEO, she spoke with a lot of caveats and a lot of nuance. And she was asked about seed oils. And there is a view held right now that's very popular in culture. It's not an academic view. It's not a peer-reviewed literature view. There is a view right now in culture that seed oils are toxic. Okay. And a lot of people hold this very strongly. And I understand some of the logic and maybe we can go through what that logic is. It could be a two hour episode going through the science that actually has examined this. But how many people hold that view that seed oils are toxic just based on conversations they've had at the dinner table and you know someone's told them omega six to three ratio causes inflammation. Seed oils are inflammatory. They're gonna increase your risk of cancer. Yes. Story elements, right? I don't wanna mock, I'm not mocking the person here. I'm explaining how I think a lot of these views are formed, right? There's a lot of groupthink and it's it's not scientific.